Hi, welcome to another episode of What's Wrong With My Hair? So what's wrong with my hair? It's not your business. So I found some bugs on my bed. That's always a good way to start a story. And I, I freaked out and I tore all my quilts and sheets and pillowcases and I threw it in the washing machine and and um, I have some stuffed toys on my bed. Um, a bear, my bear, uh, dubbed Edward, that I brought all the way from Canberra on a wonderful trip of Dreamworld and other adventures. Um, and uh, a, a Mario green one-up mushroom, you know, a big plush toy, and a little cat. I can't remember the cat's name. It will come to me later. Anyway, I, I grabbed them all and, and threw them in a bucket of water in the bathroom um, and just let it soak there for ages. And when I say ages, I mean like two days because I kept forgetting to do anything about it. And then um, I took it outside eventually, finally, and, and, went and put it to dry outside. Uh, when I returned later that day, it was a very hot day, the sun was burning and... Uh, I use burning in the literal sense because it looked like uh, my cat's fur had just singed right all around, like a nice, like crispy sort of brown. And uh, the plush toy is fine, but my bear, uh, my bear wasn't doing so good. My bear was still very uh, wet, and had uh, the fur was matted, and it had this uh, interesting odor uh, of delicious fresh bread. And I wasn't sure why. And then it occurred to me, perhaps why, and I looked at the label on the bear. And you see, I didn't, I forgot to mention this, but it was actually, it's a, it's a heat pack. You know, you, you put it in the microwave and you use it as a, you know, as a heat pack. And inside it said, uh, it uh, is filled with wheat. So effectively what I did to my bear was I soaked it in water, I put it outside, I basically baked my bear. Um, so obviously if there's a, a loaf of bread inside your, your toy, you can't really uh, keep it for very long. So I knew I had to throw it away and I couldn't, couldn't bring myself to do it. I put it on the kitchen table uh, for a while and it, it, was, it was all fine for a day or two. And then this weird odd odor started to, to kind of emerge and not a pleasant one. And uh, its foot started to go like gangrene, I don't know what, and so eventually we just had to throw it out. And Well actually, then it, it, from that moment I moved it outside, and then a day later all these like weird fruit fly things started to buzz around it. And I thought, look, this is the same insane night. Time to say goodbye. So I said goodbye to Edward, and I, uh, I threw him in the bin. Yes, and at this point in the story, of course, the same thing to do would be to learn my lesson and not uh, try to soak toys in water and assume they'd be fine. But instead, I went the uh, more materialistic capitalist, you know, getting what I want when I want it now way, and jumped online and ordered the same bear from Canberra, from that shop in Canberra. Uh, so $37 later, here's Edward II. Yay! I'm so happy. I love him. And before you ask, did you name your bear after the character in Twilight? The answer is yes, I did.